Meanwhile, assessing the severity of valvular regurgitation is crucial. Identifying the cause of valvular insufficiency is equally important. Mitral regurgitation could be primary due to intrinsic mitral valve issues, like rheumatic involvement or other pathologies, or secondary to left ventricular enlargement or ischemia without intrinsic mitral valve disease. In less patients, neither mitral valve pathology nor left ventricular enlargement is observed. This mitral regurgitation arises from left atrial disease, termed atrial functional mitral regurgitation. This is most commonly seen in chronic atrial fibrillation or heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. In these cases, the root cause is mitral annular enlargement linked to left atrial enlargement. In summary, the accurate assessment of valvular regurgitation severity and understanding its ideology are crucial. Recognizing the underlying cause aids in effective management and treatment strategies.